Call these uh, segments that I'm doing here recently the uh, the outdoor cooking edition. But uh, tonight I thought we'd have a little fun, do something I've never done before. We're going to make some smashed potatoes on the griddle. That should be some fun. Uh, I have on my boiling pot over here. I've got some red skin potatoes in there boiling up, boiling for 20 minutes. And inside the uh, the grill here, I got a pan with some asparagus, garlic, uh, chicken broth, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. So I'm gonna cook them in there nice and slow. My wife and I like them to be super tender, so I put them on early and I let them cook, cook, cook. They, as far as we're concerned, they can't hardly get too tender. And then the uh, also, I chopped up some vegetables. I've got red bell pepper, green bell pepper, Vidalia onion, jalapenos, and some beef sausage. So we're going to have uh, sausage and peppers on the grill. That should turn out really good. So uh, until we get really busy and, and we're going to have fun with these smashed potatoes. I saw the, uh, some recipes online for different ways people made smashed potatoes in the oven. And I'm going to do that, a little variance of that. And, and do them on the griddle. And we're gonna dress them up real nice with some EVO, salt and pepper, make them nice and salty with some kosher salt. And we're gonna use some garlic and some Parmesan cheese and, uh, and, and make them nice and crispy on the outside and tender on the inside, right there on our griddle. So I'm looking forward to trying that and we'll do it together tonight. It'll be the first time for me. We'll see how it turns out. So I'll see you here in a little bit after we get busy. Hello everybody, I'm back. Uh, my potatoes are done. I just took them off the burner. So we're ready to get busy. We got all kinds of stuff going on here. I had uh, the asparagus. I checked on it. It's done. So I kind of pushed it off the side. I've only got one burner on low in the, in the gas grill. So just keeping it warm. So like I said, we're really getting ready to get busy. So here's a, here's a tip for you. Another grilling tip. Get you some heat resistant gloves of some kind. Something that fits you well and is comfortable. And fortunately, I have very big hands, so I don't uh, have much of a choice. These are these are some grilling gloves I bought at Walmart, but they're basically just cheap welding gloves. But they work fine and they fit my hand. They're comfortable, so get what you can. The ones I really wanted were had like a no slip texture on them and stuff, and they were really nice. And I stuck my hand in there and couldn't even get them in the sleeve part. So anyhow. If you don't have big hands, you can get any kind you want. So, fix and get busy here. I'm going to move my camera around so you can see a little better on the griddle. And we're going to have some fun. See you here in just a minute. Hello everybody, I'm back. Uh, I've got this camera adjusted now so you don't have to stare at my ugly mug, but you got a good shot of the grill. So, let's get after it. The first thing we're going to do, I've got this grill. All four burners going on low. And i got my... Uh, griddle weights over here getting hot and right here I got a bottle of uh, oil this is canola oil I'm going to start with uh, my sausage and pepper onion mixture I think it'll take a little longer to, to cook than the potatoes so anyhow so let's put some canola oil on the griddle here and then I'm, but I'm going to follow that up with some EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil doesn't have a very high heat tolerance, but has a good flavor. So you can mix it with your canola oil and have best of both the best of both worlds. So there we go. We've got it oiled up. Let's dump some dump my mixture on there. Uh, there's nothing I did. Nothing to these vegetables except put a little bit of. Uh, uh, Worcestershire sauce in there, so we're gonna have we're gonna season them now while they're on the grill. This is kosher salt, pretty big pinch. Now 
we're going to follow that kosher salt up with some coarse ground pepper. I like spicy too. I don't put plenty of pepper on it. My wife likes the spicy too. And maybe I'll squirt a little bit of it. Extra virgin olive oil right on top. Just for good measure. Simple as that. I just got to mix these vegetables up a little bit. Beef sausage in there too. Just so they get coated well. Get the oil and the salt and the pepper. I'm going to kind of leave it be a little bit. Now, I don't know how long it will take these potatoes to cook. So we'll just go ahead and start cooking them. Uh, you know, if they get down early, that's okay. We'll just turn, we'll use the zones on the griddle to, we'll just turn the, the heat off on that side and just keep it warm. So there we go. We've got our vegetables and sausage going. I have to get my heat resistant glove on now. We're gonna try this out, see how it works. Get my tongs. Whoops, I just dropped my Italian seasoning on the floor. Let me grab that. Okay, I'm back. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's try smashing the tater. First, I'm going to mix some of this oil. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, no oil down first because it's more heat resistant. A little dab right there. I'm going to set a potato. Prefer with a small one. Well, I can hang on to it. I want to get the, as much of the water to drip off as possible so I don't get so much splatter. Right there. A little bit more oil. We have another tater. Let's 
person. Turn to soft. Who want this to be salty? Salty taste is good. Okay. And turkey salt is extra salty. Okay, I put the EVO on there. Let's put some <coughs> Italian seasoning on there. I showed you this Italian seasoning on some of my previous videos. This is, it grinds it. This is a grinder that grinds the Italian seasoning in. Which is, it's a really high quality seasoning too. So it makes it a little nicer for your more refined dishes. Something to kind of herb them up a little bit. I'm going to turn these two burgers off real quick because since I haven't turned them yet, I don't know how they're doing. I don't want to burn my potatoes. Okay, it's not kind of easy to do that. I'm Let's put some black pepper on a tater. And some garlic. This is uh, store bought minced garlic. Which is okay. I didn't have time to mess the garlic tonight. But so I got the pre mints. Yeah. I keep this in my refrigerator because it's, it's a time saver. Okay, there's nothing wrong with saving a little time. If I'm in a real big hurry, all you can't can't see, there's nothing wrong with that either. Okay. There we go. Alright. Before I get to, too crazy here, I'm going to get these weights off these vegetables and make sure that I'm not burning nothing here. Get them turning. Nope, nothing's burning. The shirt smells good. Get them all. Turn it over here. I didn't get too crazy with my heat because I knew I had lots of different things going on tonight. So, all my burners are on low. In fact, I turned those two burners off just to make sure it didn't get too crazy. I'm going to turn it back on now. Okay, let's just sneak a peek. Okay, they're not uh, in there, so that's okay. Okay, smash potatoes. We'll see how it turns out. I've never had it. I saw them on the internet, a couple of different places I look at recipes. And Reading the people's ideas and stuff. Uh, so I thought I'd give it uh, my version to try on the griddle. And I think it'll turn out okay. We'll see here in a little bit. Until things progress a little bit, uh, I won't make you stand here and watch me. I'll get back with you in just a minute. Okay, everybody, back. The smashed taters are starting to look a little brown on the other side. So I thought I'd. Uh, a good time to turn them over. I'm going to hit them with a good lick with some olive oil one more time before I flip them. So I see them start to brown a little bit on their side of my chicken. So let's uh, try flipping them and see how that works out. I like the potato pig. I'm going to flip over there, Betty. Okay, there we go. That one looks good. 
I kind of come, I'll try to get them together and smash together so it'll kind of be one piece. But definitely golden brown on the one side there. I was hoping that hold together a little better. But it doesn't really matter, I mean, if it holds together or not, let's still taste good. But definitely golden brown, just like I was expecting them to look. Construct them a little bit on the plate when you serve them. Uh, yeah, I'm all about presentation. It, it really does make a difference how you present your food, even if it's family. I mean, it's uh, the presentation really does matter. It, it uh, I don't know. I think it actually makes the food taste better. I think it, it uh, puts people in the proper mindset. And then they're just uh, more enthusiastic about uh, having the dinner that you make. Uh, and it also reflects the uh, amount of love that you got. How much love you got in your food. It takes like the time to present it properly. It must mean that you care about it, right? Oh, this sausage and vegetables are looking good. You know, my wife, she's not big on the sausage part. That'll be for me. <laughs> She'll love these uh, onions and bell peppers. I got jalapenos in there. So I got medallion onion. I got three big jumbo jalapenos in there. I seeded them. Uh, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, and beef sausage. And that's it. And then I salted the pepper. It really good after I got it on the grill. Here we go. So, we'll just let this cook for a little while. And I'll check back with you here in a minute and see how it's going. So, I'm back. I believe those potatoes are done. So, I turned the heat off completely on those so they'll just stay on the grill with that residual heat staying nice and hot. The, uh, the last thing to get done here looks like it's going to be these vegetables I got on the grill. I turned the heat up a little bit, just a little past medium. I'm going to get that going a little quicker. And pretty soon this is going to be ready to take inside and plate up. So I'll catch up with you here just now. So I'm back. Uh, while you were gone, I flipped these potatoes because they were garlic side down. I didn't want the garlic to get burned. So I flipped them. That griddle's still nice and warm, so they're staying warm even though I don't have any heat on it. Plus, I got heat going over here, so it transfers over there. The vegetables are about done. One thing I really love about this griddle is that I can spread the food out over a larger cooking surface. Everything gets done more even and faster. But I just wanted to point out that if you don't have a griddle, you're planning to get one or never planning to get one or however it goes, you can do the same thing. Here's a large cast iron skillet. One like this or even bigger, you can find them there, and they're not expensive. So you can do the exact same thing that I'm doing here in a large cast iron skillet. It tastes just the same, we'll tell the difference. It's just more convenient to have this big grill where I can spread everything out and cook more than one thing at a time, faster, and more fun. So I'll catch you here in a minute, and uh, probably when I'm inside, I'll get all this stuff, this vegetables are about down to solve it. I'll get everything uh, hauled inside and carry my camera in there and we'll plate some up and see what it looks like. Hello everybody, I'm back. Let's plate this up so that uh, we can see what it looks and tastes like. Alright, here we've got a little sausage and peppers. And I tasted them of these, and they are delicious. Look at there. Smashed potato. It's got garlic and herb. 
extra virgin olive oil. Delicious. And then to top that off, that's hot. Let's have some very tender asparagus. There it is, folks. We're going to enjoy this for dinner tonight. See you later.